one man had decided to make the most of this final day in Denmark. Magnus Kort, resplendent in polka dots, attacking from kilometer zero. It's a dream come true to stand here on a Tour de France podium in Denmark. Uh, it doesn't get much bigger than that, I think, for uh, yeah, any ride, I know. To the biggest worries in the world come to, to your country and you are able to, uh, to be on, on the podium after the stage. Uh, that's, uh, that's really huge for me. Who says you need to share the limelight at the Tour de France? Courts having the time of his life as he pulled over six minutes clear. A theatre of cycling. Magnus Court is about to make his way over the first climb of the day to the most incredible sound in the Tour de France I've ever heard. One point in the pocket. He's firmly in the King of the Mountains jersey for another day. A special moment for Kaspar Askreen as he enters his hometown up towards the front of the peloton. I think he's going to thoroughly enjoy a huge moment. Wout van Aert enjoying his first day in the yellow jersey, but it's green that he dreams of wearing on the Champs-Élysées. More points up for grabs at the intermediate sprint. Now the sprint starts. Also up there is Van Rensburg. Laporte kicks or Sagan has to right himself. Here goes Morkow trying to bring Jakobsen forward. Here's the sprint. Wout Van Aert in the yellow jersey. Sagan right on the wheel. And it's Van Aert who takes the maximum points. 17 points to Van Aert and the peloton all across the road behind. The lone ranger at the front picking up his third and final point of the day and eventually easing his way back to the peloton. After 130 kilometres at the head of the race, he says goodbye, but we'll see him later on. He's going to be on the podium again tonight. He is the king of the mountains. The sprint team's going to work in the last 50k and looking to set things up for their fast men. Quickstep had a chance to become the first ever team to win the Tour's first three stages. Oh, loads of riders have hit the deck. Well, the plan of Israel Premier Attack hasn't really worked because all their riders have been caught up in this crash. Jack Bauer trying to put Dylan Gronewegen into position. Oh, left-hand turn. Everyone makes it safely through. Now it's all about position. It's going to be a huge drag race. Sagan moves up on the right-hand side. He's got the position that he's wanting. Look at this. A nice wide boulevard. Who is going to win this race? 53 kilometers an hour as Seneschal starts to rev it up to 55. Locked in on the wheel is Wout van Aert. As they get ready, Michael Morkow is trying to put Jan Jakobsen there, but Jakobsen is seven or eight riders back. He's not in position yet. Moving up is Mads Pedersen. Here goes Christophe Laporte. Right-hand side goes Wout van Aert. On the wheel is Peter Sagan. Sagan moves. Ewan is looking. He can't get through. Wout van Aert. It's Dylan Groenewegen. Uh, 